Before we begin, please note that the saturation may be done at your facility and transported to your job site after. Once you have made sure that the Probex components are assembled, remove the conical end cap from the probe. To ensure proper air evacuation, turn the probe until the small notch at the end of steel core C is in the upper position. Make sure the 1 meter nylon tubing is screwed in the place of the saturation plug. Place the pump's small handle on position 1 and activate the pump to displace the piston to the end of its range. Maximum range is reached when the volume displayed on the Pro Box stabilizes at around 676 cc. You should also see a jump in your pressure reading. Incline the Probex by a minimum of 20 degrees while making sure the saturation plug is at the uppermost point. Put the end of the tubing in a container filled with clean water or antifreeze solution. Place the pump's small handle on position 2 and activate the pump to return the piston to its fully retracted position, which is indicated by a constant volume reading of around 0 cc on the probox. Please note that you need to stop pumping when the deflation circuit pressure gauge reaches 7000 kPa or 1000 PSI to avoid damaging the Probex. Now place the pump's small handle on position 1 to activate the pump. If air is present in the probe, bubbles will be seen coming out of the tubing. Repeat the sucking in and expulsion of the water out of the probe until no air bubbles are expelled out of the probe. When there are no more air bubbles, the saturation process is complete. Once this is accomplished, Fully retract the piston. Remove the tubing, put 3 to 5 layers of Teflon tape on the plug's threads, and screw the saturation plug back onto the steel core. Once this is done, screw the stainless steel conical end cap back onto the probe. Your saturation is now complete. <laughs>